All right, just taking this mechanism out um, from a customer's door because uh, I'm thinking the gearbox is gone. It's th these are uh, the hook and the and the bolts are just not staying in. They're just springing straight back out. They're just falling out, all of them. So you have to physically do the handle, uh, pull the handle down just to be able to shut the door, just to retract all these. So I'm just going to change the gearbox over if I can and just see if that makes a difference. Right, just got back from fitting that uh, Euro deadlock. And so this is the one that I, that's the one that I took off uh, the Union. So I thought we'd have a little go at picking it. Um, interesting, I've been doing a little bit of, a uh, little bit of deadlock practicing lately. So yeah, let's get this set up and we'll give it a go. mechanism out um, from my customer's door because uh, I'm thinking the gearbox is gone it's th these are uh, the hook and the and the bolts are just not staying in they're just springing straight back out they're just falling out all of them so you have to physically do the handle uh, pull the handle down just to be able to shut the door just to retract all these so I'm just going to change the gearbox over if I can and just see if that makes a difference. Right. So let's... Right. That. Let's go. So, probably honestly we've got a direct replacement. My camera right today. Shoddy. Um, yeah, direct replacement for that. So... Give that a go and hopefully that's that's what the problem is <laughs> right there we go so that's now it not popping out with the handles are working beautiful i've tried it with the key but yeah it's all working, working lovely and that's this one done So we are at a job in Hove. So this uh, guy phoned me to say he's having problems with his night latch. Um, he actually said that it's getting stiff to open from the outside. Now I've had the key, which is here. And although it's, it's working when I turn that way, I'm, it's, I'm getting nothing there. It feels like it's actually gonna snap. So. Uh, there's definitely something wrong there but also this is the British standard version so obviously with the anti-slip snip that's supposed to pop out and it's not and it's, it's not even it's not even functioning so I think the tail piece is too big for this so we're going to whip this off and trim the tail piece down I've got my student with me this week Stephen and uh, also, where it's a little bit stiff, we're going to move the keep in inwards a little bit, only by a couple of mil, um, because it's it's very stiff to open. So we'll get that done, and then we're going to do a job out the back. So I've taken the lock off, and I just I was just explaining to Stephen that first thing I would do is before I start cutting the tailpiece, I'd make sure that the lock's actually working when it's off the door. So when I push the anti-slip snib in, that's all pushing out as it should be and it's deadlocking exactly how it should be. And it wasn't obviously wasn't doing that on the door. So we know there's not a problem with the lock, that it's gonna be the tail piece. Yeah, so the tail piece is, I've got to cut that back at least one notch. It is well over length. So, so what I'll do, I'll take one notch off and then I'll try the lock back on and I'll just test that. Right, so lock's back on, uh, trim the tail piece. Lock's working both, both ways now um, and it's throwing the bolt, as you can see, the half moon, and 
it's dead looking as well. So, but it is still stiff. Although from the inside, it's throwing the bolt. We've just tried it from the outside with the key and it's still very stiff. So, um, just gonna move the keep in that way a fraction, probably one or two millimeters and that should go over the problem. Right, okay, so the uh, night latches are working now um, and it's all working from both sides now. Um, little half moon there, so that's all shutting perfectly. There was a problem also with it, well not, wor not working properly from the outside basically. Um, it was still quite stiff to open, but we've loosened that off, got it working. And then we realized that the actual deadlock was a bit stiff as well. So he was having to pull on the door to lock it, but that's all working lovely now. So that's this one all done. So we can go to the back of the house now. And we've got some sliding doors just to ease up. Right, so on these, we've got these big sliding doors uh, and the customer wasn't able to um, to open the doors. Um, so it was it was just getting stuck at that position there. But what I've done, I've lift, lifted the door and turned the key, which managed to sort of get over that problem and put it open, but it is still rubbing somewhere there. Um, so what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Magi Burr with the Dremel, just to see if I can just clear that out carefully. Cause I think it's, I think it's catching on this side, looking at this plate here. So I'm just gonna see if I can do that and maybe give it a file as well. Um, I just wanted to uh, just quickly say about the, uh, the courses this week. So I've only had one guy in this week. Uh, he wanted to he wanted to do one to one. He doesn't he doesn't uh, do very well in a group. He didn't he didn't want to do any door hanging. He doesn't want to know how to do the multi point locks in um, you know in timber doors. That's not his thing. Uh, but he did want to learn how to fit the locks. So we've gone through. We've run. You know we've done all of the British standard. We've done the standard night latches. We've done deadlocks. Uh, we've done euro. Uh, Euro sash lock down there, but one thing he was interested in, and, and I, I did explain to him, and, and I didn't know this until he arrived, um, was that he'd like to know how I would go about drilling a lock. Now, you'll know a lot of you know that I don't like drilling locks, um, it's literally last resort, um, but sometimes needs must. Um, but he wanted to know specifically how to drill it with a 20 mil drill bit. Now, I guess this is you know, a little bit what the 49ers do, I don't know, but he he, he wants to have a go at, at, um, at picking if he can, but he, and he's got he's got picks, and he said, first thing he'll always do is have a go at picking it. Jason Hillier, I know you're probably not watching it, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna come and do a day with you, bud. Um, yeah, so I said, well, look, I don't even have a 20 mil drill bit, so uh, I bought this from Amazon, um, and I felt a bit naughty buying it. But I bought it, we've given it a go today. You know, he's, he just wanted to know what I would do. And then I said, to be honest with you, it's a bit of a learning curve for me as well. So uh, I'll show you what we've done. So we've drilled through there. We've, I put an old lock in there. We've drilled through uh, and we've got the door open. And then, and what I, look, I mean, I did it in a way that it could all be covered over by a, a cover of scutching. And then, I, and then I said, you know, I guess what you could do is we, we did it from both sides so that if the bolt was on the right or the left. And on this side, I did it so that I showed him how I would, if I was going to do this, uh, again, kept within a cover of scutching and plugged it, filled it. You know, sometimes needs must, don't they? But yeah, it's not, it's not my go-to and, um, it's just, if you need to drill, you need to drill, don't you? So he just he just wanted to know, you know, a way of gaining entry quickly for the customer and then making it good, which is what I've shown him, so. But yeah, he's, we've done really well. So this was where um, there was a uh, two inch uh, deadlock in there. Sorry, two and a half inch deadlock. And I showed him how to make it into a three inch and then make it all good as well. So if you can see that, that would have been where one keyhole was and where the other one was. Um, yeah, and if, you know, if the customer sort of says, oh, I don't want a deadlock in now, I want that out. So how to make it all good and do that. We've done um, making good on the frame up here. We've smashed this off today. 
Um, so behind here, I've shown him two different methods, uh, how to reinforce the frame as well. And he's really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. So it's lunchtime now, he's just gone for some lunch. It's Friday, so it's his last day. Um, and what he's asked to do this afternoon, he's seen my videos while I've been using my letterbox tool um, with the GJ motor turner. So I'm gonna show him that. And he's also really interested in the ferret, the ferret camera. So I'm gonna show him that with my letterbox tool because from Joe last week, he done a lovely job fitting this, hanging this door. We've got a letterbox on there. So I'm gonna fit a night latch. We're gonna swing that on that frame and then uh, fit a night latch. And then, uh, yeah, you can have a go at, go at doing that. So it's been really good. It's been like a bespoke kind of uh, course. Right, we've just done this job. I've been here before actually. Um, they're having problems with this, this night latch. So I'm just gonna swap it out for uh, something a bit different. Um, they're gonna keep a cylinder. And then we're putting a door closer up there just to help it. I think the DM um, doesn't slam and make sure it shuts. So not the best start to the day. That's the one I was going to fit in replacement for that. Ticket out of the box, no back plate to actually secure the lock to the door. Fantastic. So I've just been around to the van and I've got the yard in there. So we'll stick that yard on now instead. Right, so this is the new Yale one that I'm putting on. So I've just disabled the snib. So what I've done, just so this, so it looks, you know, complete from the outside. Uh, on these, on these particular ones, they have this bar that connects to that bit there, which is the back of the snib. So obviously, when you push the button down, it it, it locks into the actual uh, arms of the uh, of the latch. So I've just removed that. So that means that they can't put this on because it's a common way. So nobody can be locked out. So. Just get this back on and obviously making sure that the arrows are not lining up because we don't want them to be able to deadlock it from the outside. Another fire hazard, obviously, people won't be able to get out. So. And then uh, we can get this one fitted. All right, there we go. So new night latch on there. Snibs disabled, doesn't do a thing. So I've taken that bar out from the side. Um, and the door closed up, up there, which is all working. Lovely. Beautiful. All that leads. You ain't seen this little bad boy for a while, have you? Good morning guys, um, I'm just on my way back to the job that you saw me do with one of my students, Stephen, last week. Um, the guy would like to replace his, he's got a British standard deadlock on his front door and he wants to replace it with a thumb turn, so I'm just on my way there to go and do that, so I'll see you there. Yeah, see we go. Right, so taking this Union um, 5 lever British standard deadlock off and we're replacing it with, uh, a Fortress Euro deadlock and Freestar Apex one turn. Um, yeah, the customer's just a little bit sort of concerned about worst case scenario if there was a fire and they couldn't get out. So uh, yeah, just gonna whip that out and uh, change it over. <clears throat> right, so that's all marked up for the Euro there. Um, <clears throat> the the case height slightly or the face plate slightly different. So I'm gonna put it, where, where I've worked that out for the for the keyhole, I'm gonna keep that the same, always try and keep that in the same position. And then the top of the face plate uh, lines up with the top of the old one, but the bottom one's a bit shorter. So I'll just have to fill that in with a bit of cork. That's it marked up on the inside for that. So I just need to chop out a little bit of here for the new case to fit in. And then, uh, and then the actual uh, keep um, the new one is a little bit bigger actually so again I would imagine the top's going to line through like that and then it'll come down this is where I filled it the other day actually um, there was all this was all just um, just bare timber and I had to move this keep sort of in this way for the door to shut properly so while I was here I'll just put a bit of cork around it but we're actually going to change that out now anyway for this one so it'll probably get rid of that right so that's the lock in position 
uh, cylinders through, screws through there. Um, obviously, a scutch and plate on before you put the thumb turn on. I always make that mistake. So now I can get the actual face plate on and the cylinder and the, and the lock uh, fitted. Uh, then we get the escutcheon plates on. Then then we've got just got to do the uh, the uh, oh what's it called the keep. That's it. The keep down there. There we go. And just before I go any further, just gonna check because of this draft excluder. Cool. Yeah. Look at that. Just clears it. Okay. That's cool. It's all in. I'm gonna put a little bit of filler in there. Um, like I say, because the, the case is a little bit different in height. So we've got to do the keep now. So we'll transfer our marks over for the bolt, if I can find my pencil. I've lost my tracer pencil, guys. I'm gutted. I cannot find it. So we're going somewhere there and somewhere there. So the two bigger marks. These were the marks I put on there the other day, I think from moving this, because this wasn't central. All right, let's get this one through. How's your luck? I cut around this with a flipping knife and the bits just snapped off of uh, a little bit of paint. But uh, that's fitted now. Um, just got two screws in it, so we give it a go. All right. Uh, I've got the keys, I've got the keys. Right, what's that? Oh yeah, it's nice. Lovely. Right, so I'll put the proper screws in there because they're not the proper screws. Um, drill that and then a little bit of filler and with right. that we are done. So let's just double check it all from the outside. It's locked. Lovely. big black gap down there but it's the reflection of this so um but yeah that's this one that's this job all done just got to put the uh, customer's mat back we tried hoovering out from these mats oh my god so <laughs> just got to put that back and that back in the corner over there and then i'm done right just got back from fitting that uh euro deadlock and so this is the one that i that's the one that i took off uh, the union, so I thought we'd have a little go at picking it. Um, interesting, I've been doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of deadlock practicing lately, so yeah, let's get this set up and we'll give it a go. Right, so I've got it in the vise, and I promise you, I'll not pick this, not pick this at all. I've literally just got it back out of the box. Um, I haven't even looked at the key, the key and everything is still in the box in here. All the all the gubbies so and that's in there, so and all the rubbish actually, it's just gone over my desk. But uh let's give this a go. Now mortis picking isn't my forte. I'll be the first to admit. <laughs> but I do enjoy doing it, I really do. Um I love a challenge, as as most locksmiths do. That's why we do it. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey. What's that? Go on, not even a minute. I can guarantee you that's open if you look at that little bowl. I'll take that as a win. All right, there you go. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, um, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Any nice comments, just nice comments, not stupid comments about the size of my glasses or anything like that. You ain't going to get a response. So nice comments down there, please. And uh, yeah, give, give, the, give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it. And um, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys.
Hey guys, 